Islanders, we are in Old Orchard Beach today and in the shadows of Palace Playland, which you can see the roller coaster in the back, we are over at Pirates Cove, one of the great golf courses here. Mini golf, check it out. There's paid parking right next door where you can pay, I don't know, prices change, they're usually like $8 for the day, but here they also have free parking for customers, although you better be a customer if you park here. Really good theming. Hello there! You got the stern? You found an ant? You got the stern? Who's sailing the ship? That's my in here you can see when you come in they have some great theming. There's a fortune teller pirate, some great picture opportunities. There's a limit on four people per your group and you need to decide if you're going to do the Blackbeard course which goes up on top of the mountain or into the cave with Captain Kids which is what we did. Captain Kids Cave. Number one is very simple. Simple for us to not get it in the hole. Crossing over the bridge to number two. This is number two. We go underneath. Falls on the other side. Oh, so close! And Dad's already in the water. There is random facts about pirates. Of course. And you don't want to get in that stream. Oh, Sad. you found a. Golf is that a strawberry or a golf ball? That is a golf ball. Okay. That's a strawberry. Well, number three, pretty straightforward. Again, don't get it in the river. Let's get aggressive. Is that in the river? I hope not. So the trick for number three is if you send it down the river, it actually goes hey. towards the hole. That's a, that's a good one. Again, the trick on number three, if you're doing the Captain Kid cave, come down this river and it's gonna come out through the magical hole right in there. All right, let's cross the bridge. The Raging Rapids. This place is really sweet at night. All, up. all right, number four. Oh, bonk. You come from number four and you think you're about to go into the cave, but no, that's number 14. So now we're here at five, which is a couple holes. You don't know which one ends up on the lower level. Checking it out. But which one is the better hole to go into? Alright, number six. Potential water danger here. You ready? He made it. He made it across. Victory. Just gonna float away. I guess we're just gonna let that chill. There. Number seven, back to nice and straightforward. 
they were going to redo that one. And then, airplane flying by, Greek food, Wednesdays, $5 taps, $4 main crafts. Where's the sign for this one? No sign. Oh. Number eight. It has the lip on it. Number nine. Um, someone's in the bushes. This is the wobbly hills one. Yeah. From the grass. Whoop! In the grass. All right, here we're here at number ten. Pro tip: miniature golf. The Pirates Cove. Pro tip: this shack out near number ten. This is where all the balls end up as they make their way around the pond. Got a pile here and like 20 in the water. You can see them all. So when you lose your ball, this is where you can get a replacement without having to go back to the main desk. Spot number 10, the wibbly wobbly. Number 11, heart shaped with a trick ledge. So if you get too close to the hole, you're heading down. Number 12 is an uphill battle. Oh, and you're right back to start. Number 13 is a downhill battle. And up next is number 14 heading into the cave. So 14 isn't actually inside the cave. It's the one just outside with the granite blocks. And I don't know if you can hear it, but I hear the voices of pirates inside, mateys. Okay, we're heading inside. I'm going to pretend there is audio animatronics, but I think it's just voices. Totally cool. And then they stop talking. I must have scared them. So the back side of the water. Sixteen downhill again. Everything's less exciting after being inside of there. Number seventeen. Final hole of the Captain Kid round. And as we know, like the most of these, this is the one where we'll steal your ball. And it's a really long one. Got a skipper, huh? Don't size you. Okay. 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 Can you get the money? Yeah. And leave the golf balls though, right? Was it worth it, kids? Yes. So four dollars to play again. If you get a hole in one on the mystery around, you can get a token to get a free game. We did not. Millie got holes in one on 11, 14, 
And we're not going to tell you what the secret round is because that's not quite so fair. You can also pick up yourself a pirate hat. This kid's got pirate flags. Show me a pirate flag. No, 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 no. Show me a pirate flag. Good, good. And because we still got home ones, they gave us a scratch ticket. Maybe a one if you're going. $1 off golf. $1 off per person. golf per person next visit. We'll be back. I'll be back. One thing we wish we realized before is that there's a Pirates Cove web app. We just have to scan this code. And right there. Pause the video, scan the code, and you'll be all ready. Or go to piratestories.net to get that. Yeah.